Hello, in this video we will look at how you can get better access to OneDrive when you're using your Chromebook. The last few weeks I've done quite a few videos on Microsoft 365 because it works really good with your Chromebook because not everybody wants to use the Google Office Suite, it works great, but Office is Microsoft 365 is also really good and I've been using it now for quite a few weeks and I really like it. Microsoft 365, you can get it for free, but I pay for it for diverse because you get a few extra things, you get more OneDrive. Um, so you can use it for free, might have a few limitations, so, or you can pay for it, £5.99 a month I pay, or I think it's £6.99, $6.99 if you're in the USA. Um, so one thing I did notice is that I've now got a large OneDrive capacity, which is really good. And I think I get, I think you get one terabyte when you sign up. Yeah, so you can see that I'll get one terabyte. Now with my Google Drive, you get 15 gigabyte as standard, which is okay. But I also pay for extra Google Drive space, but I think I only pay up to 100 gigabytes. So I'm getting 100 gigabytes but I, I do only pay about £1.59 for that a month. But I've got this one terabyte of the OneDrive. Now, the one thing I realised here, you don't have access to OneDrive, you've got your Google Drive. And I know that Google and Microsoft are working together to change how they interact. So hopefully in the future, it, these things may be built in. But at the moment, it's not. And the reason why I realised it's something I would like, not just to have in here, for example, say if I was using, let's just open up um, OneNote because I was having a mess about with OneNote and because I will do a video on OneNote um, in the future but just to quickly show you for example here if I wanted to insert and then insert a file when I did install file attachment it brings up the Chrome OS default browser like file explorer system which is fine but as you can see you've only got access to your Google Drive so if I wanted to add files from OneDrive I would have to go into my OneDrive download it upload it it's a bit of a messy way of doing it so I wanted to find a way of getting OneDrive on here so you can do it, which is quite good. So I'll just close these down. So what you do need to do, you need to open up a browser and you need to go to the Chrome Web Store and then click on there. And then in the search box, just type in file system and then OneDrive and hit return. And then you get these extensions all up here. We're not after these. You've got these themes. We're not after these. We're after the apps. The app we want is the file system. File system for OneDrive. And by the way, if you want to do it for Dropbox, you can do the same thing. I'm just doing OneDrive on here, but the only difference is you just do file system, Dropbox in the search and download theirs. But this is just for OneDrive. So you've got it here. Just click on it like that. And you add it to Chrome. Add app. Okay, and that's been added like that. And then just launch app here. And then mount. And then what it will do then, it will ask you, because you're trying to mount your OneDrive, obviously it needs permission. So you need to put in your Microsoft account details here. I'll just put them in and then it's got here obviously with apps and I get that some people might feel a bit I'm not too sure about doing it but unfortunately you have to if you want to have access to stuff you have to give them access to different things so here OneDrive file system for Chrome OS needs your permission to have full access to all of your files to access them um, and there's just these you can have a read them if you want just click yes if you're happy with that Now it would have asked you for a password. You can see it didn't ask me for a password there, but it would have done. It's just that I've tried this a bit earlier. So you would have had to put in your password as well. So don't worry, people can't just access your Microsoft account. It would have also asked you for your password. So you've done that, okay. And then you can close that like that. And then if you go to here, you can see it's now there. That's the actual app that we installed. So to uninstall it, you can just simply, at a later date, 
just right click and do uninstall. But now it's installed, if you go to your file manager like this, you'll see you've now got your OneDrive as well. So you've got your Google Drive and you've got your OneDrive, which is really good because if you are using Microsoft 365, I, 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 I do like the Google Doc. Um, docs that you get the sheets and stuff and they're all different but Microsoft 365 is great as well so I think I, I know I will be using both of them going forward because they just offer so much more functionality so having access to your OneDrive from your file system is really good because from here for example you could drag that into OneDrive or you could just drag a file into your downloads like that it's not perfect. For example, if I drag that into my downloads, it's downloading here. Previously, it was coming up with an error message saying abort, but it still did it. It's like here, look, there we go. So OneDrive, personal. Um, an operation is taking longer than expected. Do you want to abort it? I, I've just ignored them because it, it's still download, so it's not great. But it just makes it so much easier. And then, for example, if we was in a program, so if I open up OneNote again, and this is why I really wanted it, if you are in here, um, and just waiting for this to open up, and then if you're here, and then when I was doing an insert a file previously, I only had access to my Google Drive, I've now got access to my Google Drive and my OneDrive. And I just think it's it's a better way of doing it. Hopefully in the future, it does mean installing that app. I don't mind installing that app. I'm sure Google is all over it in the sense of um, whether it, it's, it's, it's keeping you safe with your data. So I wouldn't worry about that. But obviously it's your risk if you download an app. Um, but with this, I just do think it's much better. And I think in the future, having if you're going to be using Microsoft 365, having the ability to access the files directly from here is really good because it, it just makes it easier to do that. Um, so there you can see that's the Google Drive and that's my OneDrive like that. And you can see that's my OneDrive because if I go into here, it should look very similar. And then go into OneDrive, you see there's my files there. Very similar to the files there. Okay, so that's really good. Now, if you do want to, when you do that, if you want to do it and then you, you want to remove it for whatever reason, um, first of all, you can remove this here, just simply uninstall it. I'm going to leave mine installed. And also, when you do give permission, you will get this an email from Microsoft saying you've given an app new permissions. That was 30 minutes ago, that was when I was messing around with it earlier, but this is the one that they've just sent me here. So if you open that up here, it's got that OneDrive has had a new app created and you can manage your apps in your Microsoft account. So if you click on there, manage your apps, sign in, you'll have to put your password and if it's not there, and you can see it's got the permissions you've given OneDrive file system for Chrome OS. So you could delete it from there as well. So you're in total control. I think it's really good. I think in the future with cloud computing where it's going, it won't just be the case of just using all Google software. You will be using Microsoft software. You might be using Adobe software. So it's good to have access to them all. And the fact that OneDrive, I don't know how much you get if it's just you're using it for the free account, but if you're paying £5.99 or $6.99 a month, you're getting one terabyte of storage, which is really good. So you can put a lot of information in the cloud um, with your Google Drive and your OneDrive. So I hope you like this video. I will, of course, do more videos in relation to this sort of topic in the future and other videos just to try and get much more out of your Chromebook. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please like below and subscribe to the channel for future videos. And thanks for watching.